let's try Jay's Journey. Let's just listen to the intro music a bit because it's quite fun. I think that this creator design, um, composed his own music for this game, if I remember correctly, and I think this may be an original composition. So this is Jay's Journey by Jay, or Heroic Jay as he's also known on the internet. This is an RPG Maker 2000 game, so obscure that there isn't even a let's play or a let's try of it on YouTube. So after this, there will be. Let's jump in. So yeah, as I say, this is a game made with RPG Maker 2000, an engine which I find on, I'm fond of, or of which I am fond, to be correct grammatically. Uh, never end a sentence of preposition with One time, centuries ago, a beast known as Hagritharmon, Hagritharmon ruled the land. The, this horrible beast used humans as slave labour to build a shrine dedicated to worshipping his image. Any humans who tried to oppose him were destroyed. Until one day, when a peasant from the city of Saldivar started working on the shrine. By tricking Hagrith Farmon, he sealed the beast within the unfinished shrine with a magic crystal before being completely sealed away though. Hagrith Farmon's- oh, it's gone a bit faster than I could read. I should have shut up at the start. Anyway, that was about 2,000 years ago. Actually, none of this has anything whatsoever to do with this game. It doesn't even take place in the same universe, but it's still a cool story, don't you think? So that's a nice little bit of humour already. As you can see, this is quite a fun, humorous game. Here's a repeat of the title music and some incredible special effects uh, from paint. <laughs> Sorry about that, says the narrator. The real story starts in the town of Leona about two months ago. I don't even live in Leona, but the events happening there have changed my life more than anything you could imagine. Well, let's get this game started, shall we? There have been, a re there have been reports of a large number of monsters to the west, sire. Our guard should be able to handle any monsters that try to attack. Sire, they are larger than your average monster, and they're being led by a man. Our guards can handle it, Atolla. You need to calm down a little. I don't feel very calm. If you insist, sire. Amazing mapping in this game, as you can see. That was sarcasm. Sarcasm is the lowest form of wit. Oh, I'm in control. Okay, so I'm in control of Atolla. Let me just give you a tiny bit of background. So, I spent most of my... I misspent most of my teenage years playing RPG Maker 2000 and 2003 games because I fell in love with the engine, um, the application, when my brother first showed it to me when I was about 12, 13, so pretty much exactly when, no, I must have, maybe as a bit older, no, that's about right, exactly when they came out, and um, I would like the world to know about some of these games. Uh, some of the better and more popular ones have, have got Let's Tries and, and Let's Plays and things on YouTube and have a bit of visibility. But there are excellent ones out there like this one that don't. So here you go. This is a comedy game. I think this game would be would have been perfect to bundle with uh, the Naughties versions of Windows. It's like a free game. It's just got that feel. It's made with the default uh, resources from RPG Maker 2000, as you can see. Um, mapping... Uh, as with my games, mapping not so strong, not so strong on the visuals, but why this game is so good, even though it's a comedy game, the writing is absolutely excellent, and the creator, Jay, I think that is his real name, although we don't know his second name, I, I believe scripted this game, wrote it all out um, as a script before, you know, in a Word document or whatever, before actually making it, and it shows. Very good writing, it's a very funny game, I'm very fond of it, it's close to my heart, and it's also got some vocal samples that you will come across before too long. Anyway, shut up, fine on. Let's um let's actually play some game. Can we talk to these people? Monsters bah as they they could as though any could ever get into Leona. And he says it's the same because he's a clone. What does the king say? Calm down a little, Antola. Can you interact with these? I don't know why you just have suits of armor hanging up in your throne room. But hey, like I say again, this game isn't about the graphics. This is this is proof like many RPG maker games, the good ones, that you can make an excellent game without incredible graphics or lots of resources that's just in 2D. This, I, I, I love these games for their stories and the dedication and work that their creators put into them um, and the amazing writing you see in some of them. He isn't listening to me. I have a really bad feeling about this. Good Star Wars reference. So we're in Leona now, Leona proper. Can let us through, thanks. These are all clones of one another. Then we're walking around. Hello, random NPC. Who'd have thought? Our great warrior Atolla, afraid of some little monsters. 
Oh, so yeah, he dims the screen. It goes grey when you when you're having private thoughts. Little isn't the word that word I'd use to describe them. Can we get out this way? Monsters associating with a man? Oh please, no, we can't. Okay, we'll say the same thing. Lovely box houses. A tree. Oh yes. Okay. Locked. Locked. What does this dude say? Uh huh. Monsters with a man. And anyway, since when has our army not been able to take care of a few stupid monsters? All oh, right. Yeah. So um, the kingdom is under threat of a man associating with some monsters. Clearly. Where are you actually meant to go at the start? Um... Ah yes, here we go. Sorry, I sh I'm, should have spotted that earlier. There's a little raft. If no one's going to let us out, let's raft our way out. How did this raft get here? Well, no matter. I need to find that guy with the monsters and stop him. With my one-man army. Four days later, in the city of Pecot... Okay, here we go. You're going to get some vocal samples in this scene, I believe. Actually, one of the reasons I'm let's trying this is to show Lun Calzari, aka Luke Wachholz, um, the use of vocal samples in Jay's journey. But he's probably stopped watching already, even if he ever was watching, uh, because I've been talking too much. But they're coming. They're coming, Luke. The city was destroyed, sire. Wiped off the map. My brother's kingdom. Overthrown. Who did it? So yeah, the same face sprite and same character sprite, but this is a different king in a different place, not Leona, it's Peacot. The details are unclear so far, but rest assured we will find the culprit responsible. I will take all of your best soldiers, including of course Generals Loftier and Garrison, to investigate. No, Loftier and Garrison will stay here in case the criminal decides to strike here next. Hmm. Agreed? Mm, yes, sire. I don't trust the new guy. You and me both, Cindy. Do not call me Cindy. Do not call me Cindy. My name is Sindel. There we go. That's your first vocal sample. Um, it's WAV file in the game folder. I love it. You'll hear that a lot. Do not call me Cindy. That's Sindel's uh, catchphrase. Uh, that has got in my head so much from playing this game when I was younger that I it comes to me. Unfortunately, I have a friend called Cindy, and whenever my wife and I are talking about her, I say, Do not call me Cindy, uh, which is very unfortunate because neither of them have ever played this game, and it just makes me seem like a really weird dork, which I am. Yo, Cindy! Yo, Cindy! Whatever you say, Cindy. <sighs> Armes? Now, how, what is this guy's name? Is it Ames or Armes? I'm going to go with Armes because I think that sounds better. Sorry, Jay, if I'm wrong. Armes, I'm going to try to find out what's really behind this guy while he investigates in Leona. Sure thing, and I'm going to follow him there. Come again? Come again? Didn't you just say, didn't you just hear the king saying we're staying here? Yeah, you'll have to cover for me. As for Antignorot, he won't even know I'm there. Take care of yourself, Armes. You too, Cindy. Do not call me Cindy. Nice. Already used it twice. Not overused, but it's there. Oh, another scene change. Whoops. Hit my microphone. Sorry. Uh, something was said. He told the king that all of his forces had been destroyed. Blah, 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 blah. I guess at the time the news went in one ear and out of the other. I knew I should have been concerned that my hometown, Peacock, was in danger. But I thought that we were all right. By the way, that's my best friend that we're watching. Carol. You see, she's in love with me. No, really. She doesn't... Oh, it's going too fast. The problem, you see, is that I do not love her. Oh, I think I forgot to introduce myself. Who's narrating? In blue. The blue font. Well, if you hadn't guessed, it's the eponymous hero of the story who goes by the name of... Hey, Jay! Jay! There's another good vocal clip. Hey, Jay! My name is Jay. Bit, um... Bit egocentric, maybe, to make a game where you are the lead character. But no, I'm a complete hypocrite because I did the same thing. In my game, The Cerebral Symphony, the lead character used to have my first name, which is also Luke, um, but I changed it to Ivan using uh, a special program where you can edit all of the text in your RPG Maker game because I didn't want um, to be tracked down. Not because I'm embarrassed at it, but because I'm a teacher and I don't want to be um, found out by, by students for putting myself as the lead character in my game. Jay, Jay is fine with it though, and I'm fine with that too, really. Sheesh, it's pouring out there. I'm What's talking up? too much, let's play more. What's up? Yeah, some reason you came all the way out here in this rain. 
Carol hates rain. I think it had to do with her self-defense magic courses. She learned how to cast fire-based magic, which of course isn't that useful in the rain. Although I asked, I already knew the reason she wandered over to my house. Excuse me? Jay, can I ask What's you a up? question? Sure, what? what? Okay, can you stop with the narration thing? It's annoying. It was then that Carol asked me to- Jay! You got it. Okay, you got it, sorry. However, she did not say I could not use private thoughts, like italicized thoughts in novels, in prose novels. True, but the great thing about private thoughts is that anyone can have them, not just the main character. Well, that's really interesting, actually, come to think of it, a little side note, because that means this game now moves into um, what's called head-hopping point of view, which most RPGs are, are written in, or many RPGs are written because you get private thoughts from each character. It doesn't really work in a novel um, these days, or well, it's not fashionable anyway, but I'm working on RPG making. Carol here. I'm feeling a bit lonely. That's why I came down here. Although he can be frustrating at times, Jay is a really great guy. Unfortunately, he doesn't seem to know how I feel. That's the problem. The guys I don't want try too hard, and Jay doesn't try at all. But I'm sure that problem, that somehow, sorry, I can convince him that we should be more than just friends. Interesting. So, it's the girl with the unrequited love in this. Also, perhaps a bit ego egocentric. Sorry, Jay. I I'm being mean. I'm being mean. If you want to make this game, you go ahead. So anyway, did you come all the way down here just to tell me to stop narrating? I mean, you've made your own complete RPG Maker game, which is more than many people who use RPG Maker could say. No, uh, I... I love the way you pronounce those ellipses like that. You have to tell me how to do it. Jay. Oh, you know, I'm just kidding around. Yeah, you're good at that. Whatever. Whatever. And there you go with your school impersonation. Oh, FF8 reference. Excuse me, I don't say whatever out of apathy, I say it out of not knowing what to say next. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So you've got loads of vocal samples here, I hope you're enjoying this, Luke. Exactly my point. Anyway, I think the rain may be letting up. What say you and I go for a little walk? Whatever. Sticker, sticker. Okay, I get the picture. Right, then, hopefully we'll have a bit more um, playability now. Yeah, look, so he's got a, um, a party follow system. Quite hard to code, not many people did it in those days of RPG Maker 2000, but... Heroic Jay was heroic and clever enough to do it. But I'm going to stop reading the dialogue for a while. Um, let's just show you some battles. It's standard RPG Maker 2000, but let's show it off at least. Um, and then we'll finish this, let's try. But yeah, so this is Jay's journey. Default RPG Maker graphics, but as I hope you've seen, the writing is... Okay, it's not Shakespeare, but it's fun. It's silly, and it will actually sustain you, it'll pull you through the entire game. And I think the use of the vocal samples, hey Cindy, do not call me Cindy, um, uh, whatever and, and all that, that's really fun as well. I think those are some of the reasons. And the writing does actually get better later on, you have some really um, nice character moments. And these are just the first two characters, you get a toller later on, and you get loads, it's got a full cast of characters, go and google it, look it up on the internet, because um, I think the guy's angel fire site is still up with, the, with all the characters on there. And he did work really hard on, on writing this to be... To be a good game. As you can see, it, it, the the writing is well polished. Let's just do a battle somewhere, just to show you, and then I'll be signing off. Now, how do we get out of here? I think we go this way. And it's been a while, and I'm not actually really paying attention, I'm just waffling. Found a hat! I wonder who packed that hat. Yeah, why are there random boxes littered around the world? Who knows, but we... We're happy to suspend our disbelief while we play these wonderful games. Okay, what am I doing? I'm just aim aimlessly wandering around. Sorry, I already triggered that before. Uh, I think what I need to do is find the toller. I think he's lurking around here somewhere, if I remember correctly. Uh, that's the house I came out of. Well, this is a great place to be stuck so early on in the game. It's not a very difficult game. I'm um, really. Oh, yeah, obviously. I just go into the other building that you can go in. Oh, some money. For free. Brilliant. Actually, maybe you have to buy stuff and then you trigger the event. stop talking for a while and think about what actually is I'm meant to do. Hold on. Oh yeah, I just talked to those guys. Okay, Why great. not? 
Say what? A lion? Oh my gosh, what if it comes here? No need for concern, we have an appropriate response ready for when it appears. If you see it, report it to one of us immediately. Do not attempt to capture it yourselves. Why would we want to? You got it. Okay, you got it. Now, that should mean that the lion can now be found somewhere. There he is. Uh-oh. The escaped circus lion. Ah, help! Do not be afraid, I will not hurt you. Say what? Huh? It talks. Indeed. Uh, I have a feeling I'll regret asking, but what is a talking lion who escaped from some circus doing in a quiet city like Pecot? City? I mean, it's five perfectly square houses. Never mind. Spending disbelief. Come to think of it, I didn't know there were any circuses anywhere around here. Circus? Dear girl, what are you referring to? Thought so. It's quite a lot of effort to dim the screen like that every time you have private narration. You could just put it in parentheses, but this guy is dedicated. He's he's a perfectionist. My name is Atolla. Ah, this is Atolla. He's been turned into a lion somehow. I am from the land of Leona, appropriately enough. I came following the wizard Antignorot. It is important he not find me. Why? Because he is out to kill me and take over the world. Say what? Take over the world? You're... Uh, kidding, right? I wish I was. I am trying to find him before he finds me. I believe he has obtained a position of power within the castle of this city. There's no time to explain now. I must leave town to form a plan. Well, I hate to tell you this. A lion recently escaped from a circus. People are gonna... Circus? That's absurd. There are no circuses around here. This, uh, anti-what's-it guy. Maybe he told the king that story to get you off his tail. His name is Antignorot. Yes, it is very possible. Perhaps I should try to avoid the guards on the way out. I'm afraid that won't be easy. Maybe we can help you. You would do you that? You got it. You got it. Sure, no problem. I am greatly in your debt. Try sneaking around to the bushes by the entrance. So, yeah, as you can see already, it's a little bit different from your standard fare. It is riffing on the traditional RPG tropes and taking the mick out of them. Um... As a, as a fun comedy game, but it's also doing some different things. Look, a character's been turned into a lion, and um, we're trying to escape from a village with him. Put it that way. Let's go and distract the guard so that we can break a toller out of pe Peacock. Hey, uh, we saw the lion. Really? We must catch it. He's by the river near a bush and a tree. Oh, no, he's not. There he is. You weren't watching. Quickly, we must leave. Okay, Lion, we will join you. Okay, so here's the world map. But at least the rain is clearing up. Yeah, that's nice. There's a tower to the west. That is where we must go next. Once we climb it, we should be able to reach Simon. I'll explain more there. Whatever. Whatever you say. Tola, join the party. You know, I think this game would be even actually like perfect as the def like a game to be bundled with Windows 95 or Windows 98. It's just got that feel of it. It's like old personal computer um, it's like it's a bit like Microsoft the, um, the RPG maker equivalent of Microsoft Golf it's is just simple and fun and light and I just think yeah brilliant shareware brilliant freeware um, but it but it's good as well you know it's, it's well made just a little bit more we'll do a battle yeah and maybe a tiny bit of the first dungeon and then I will uh, sign off okay oh. hang on wait. Sorry, let's go back. Heroics. Oh, we've got a heroic slash. That's a bit of an unfortunate uh, euphemism these days. Carol learned fire magic in her self-defense classes. I wish I could do that. And Atollo is just a, a tank, I think. This is very dragon questy. But those slimes are a little bit like um, weird stilettos. Oh yeah, weird RPG maker like doesn't quirk. Sometimes the victory music goes out of tune. Utterly bizarre. Okay. Oh. Okay, another very quick battle. Must be high encounter rate in the forest. Let's just auto battle it. Nice little um, feature of RPG Mega a thousand as well. Extremely model on Dragon Quest. Oh, thought we'd get them in one turn. Get them, snakes! Snakes! That's a reference to the way. Oh, I'm poisoned. Do I have any antidotes? No. Oh well. <laughs> Uh, this probably is. Healing crystal, yes, and I would like to save. One more battle. Yeah, they look like sort of weird shoes. Slimes. 
background has changed for the battle, that's good. Yeah, really simple, but um, every character does have their own weapons and they learn skills quite quickly. It's it's not thoughtless, it's simple and default, but it's not just rubbish. So yeah, that is Jay's journey. There are some put like switch puzzles and things. Look, is a barrel put. This is like very kind of um, familiar, you know, this is, um, it is, it is vanilla, but it's enough, there's enough that's quirky and different and humorous in it that it will drag you through. If you're watching this and you're like, I don't know, 10 years old, I thoroughly recommend playing through this game. And if you're a game developer, yeah, try it a bit more. Enjoy. Um, this is Final and signing off. I hope you enjoyed our Let's Try of Jay's Journey. Bye.